first take calcium and then do it calcium of 4 and 14 you have to take the calcium of 4 and 14 is 2 yeah 4 and 14 calcium 4 and 14 what is the calcium of 4 and 15 2 how 2 you are telling me new thing i am not asking hcf calcium you start with 2 so let it complete 2 2 the 4 2 7 the 14 right now 2 into 2 into 7 this is complete calcium so the complete calcium will be what 2 to the 4 4 7 the 28 so answer is 28 got it no nothing okay did you get this can you see this yes okay so answer is 28 you make this oh i did mistake no 2 to the 4 4 7 the 28 right so what right. what i need to multiply what we need to multiply with 4 to make this 28 how to make this one 28 we multiply by 7 yes do it multiplied by 7 multiplied by 7 how to make this one 28 by 2 by 2 so numerator also by 2 so finally this is 28 ratio this one also 28 and this one is uh, 9 7 the 63 and 3 to the 6 so finally what will be the next step can you tell me yes what we multiply yeah. we multiply 28 yeah 28 both so 28 will be cancelled then next will, will be what 63 ratio 6 Ratio 6. Now what is next? We divide. Yeah, divide by? By 6. Uh, 6 will not divide. Some other number? 3. 3. So 3 twos are 3 ones are. And 3 twos are. This is your answer. This, can, this is even. This is odd. So we will stop here. Right? So this is your right. answer. Now your turn. I will give you now. Your question is one whole one over ninety nine ratio, eight whole one over three. Okay, do it. I didn't understand how to bring the NCM. Okay, that's the problem. Okay, 99 and 1's are 99 and 100. 100 over 99. You got it. And 8, 3 is a 20 of, uh, 8, 3 is a 24 and 1, 25 over 3. 25 out of 3. Yeah. Now, these two, we will take the LCM. LCM is like that. 99 and 3. 
first of all you need to think that by what number you can divide both right so by what number you can right. so 3 33 3 ones are 3 right now 30 right. ones are 33 so on lcm is 3 into 33 got it so lcm is basically 99 99 is the lcm so how to make this one 99 this one multiplied by 533 33 so multiply this one also 33 now easy yes yeah the next step is we will remove all this uh, this one this one we will remove so finally we will get 100 is to 25 into 33 right right now uh, do not need to multiply first first you can divide also the same number 25 and then 25 this is also another easy method so that your burden will decrease so this will be cancel and this will be cancel 4 so 4 is to 33 see your answer is come no need to think about first multiply and then again divide so better you cancel 25 both side you divide by 25 okay okay so that's the thing now uh one more thing uh now this time round i hope you will do uh, i will give you a little easier one now two whole one over four first do easier one three over 14 try this The answer, the answer is twenty one ratio two. Twenty one ratio two. Okay, let me check. A four to the eight and one nine over four is to thirteen over fourteen, and then multiplied by two, multiplied by seven, multiplied by two, so two and seven, sixty three is to thirteen is to two, means this was the nine seven is to nine, so now. Both uh, can be divided. This is thirteen into two, twenty-six, and this was nine seven four zero. This is seven sixty-three. So sixty-three ratio twenty-six, right? So by what number? Right. By what number you divide both? We cannot divide these two number, right? Okay. So answer is this. Here also you can see we cannot divide. Oh, it is thirteen. You said it is three, not thirteen. Allah wa akbar. Well, that's what I'm thinking. I did mistake. You are right. So three, three to the six. Yeah, six. I think we did this question before. Two. Yes. Yeah, three. Yeah, two za and three. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we did. We did this question. Okay, now so you understand now. Okay, now another one I will explain you. So you will see how we deal fraction and addition also. Three over ten. Okay, we clean it. Multiply, and then three over ten divided by three whole or one over two. Now I create a little complex situation. in this situation i will try to bring this one is a single denominator first this one right in this if right. I, 
if I do orally, I can multiply this by two to get it 10, right? So what I will right. do, 10 will over here, the same method, but I'm doing something oral. Five to the 10, two to the four, four plus three. And then this one, two, three is a six and one, seven over two. So this one will become seven over 10 and ratio seven over two. Got it? Got it. Now multiply this number by only five. This number only five. Now both become 10. Now seven ratio seven into five. Both 10 I ignore the denominator. And now you are little faster one. Now, if you divide both sides by five, by seven, you get one is to five. Got it? This method is easy now. That's it. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Now, if you understand this, I will give you one question and you will try. That question is, uh, suppose you will do over three uh, plus one over two and that ratio is one whole five over nine. Try this. You will do the same. First, you will make a single denominator. Three and two. You will make a single denominator. LCM of three and two is six. You have to make the denominator six. And the right one denominator is nine, one, the nine, and one, nine and five. Fourteen. Fourteen over nine on the right side. And make the single fraction of the bracket one. And then you can do. I am working on it. Okay. It is hard for me. Okay, I just I just do for you. So see uh, what is the LCM of these two? Six. Six. Oh, how to make this one six? We multiply three by two. This one also two, and this one multiply yes. three. Three. Multiply. So this one becomes six, and this has become four, plus this is six. This will become three. Nine ones are nine and five, fourteen over nine. Fourteen so, over nine. Yeah. Now this will become seven over six, same denominator. And now fourteen over nine. Now how to make these two same? What is the LCM of nine and sixteen? Can you tell me? Eighteen. Yeah, eighteen. How to make it eighteen? Very good. Very good boy. Try by three. Mashallah, mashallah. So multiplied by three, multiplied by three also. Seven threes are? Uh, 
Six times three and seven times three. three. So seven times three is twenty-one, right? Twenty-one. Okay, nine right. times nine times. Times eighteen. Nine times, times two. two. And fourteen times two. Uh, twenty. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. So my concern is only numerator. I leave the denominator now. Okay. Okay. Now, how to divide these two? By what number? By seven. Yes, yeah, seven threes and seven four. Your question is done, right? So I skip right. one, two more steps. So slowly you are getting the things. Now, next thing, I will give you another one. So I hope you will do now. Um, this is suppose eight whole, um, eight over three plus one over two in ratio, um, two whole, five over six. Try this. It's same. First solve the bracket, make one fraction, and then right side also one fraction, improper. The next step will be similar to the previous question. The answer is 19 ratio 17. Okay, 19 ratio 17. Okay, let me quickly yes. check. Let me quickly check it. 8 to the 16 plus uh, 3 ones are 3 and divide by 6 is 2, 6 to the 8, 8 to 5, 13 divided by 6. And next is 19 ratio uh, 17. Mashallah, mashallah, perfect. You are now. Now we move further, another on another step. Very nice, Mahmood. So now next thing is, I tell you, if uh, suppose there are three numbers in the ratio, so you have sixty-four and ninety-six ratio to twenty-four. There are three numbers. So in the three numbers, suppose if I say in one ground, there are some cars, they hold some cars are there. Some cars are green, some cars are red and some cars are black. So their ratios are 64 ratio 96 ratio to 24. So we have to define these cars in the simplest form. So first of all, you have to think by what number you can divide all these numbers. So if you uh, feel that it is difficult you start with 2 because all are even number so you can divide by 2 so this will be 32 and this will be 2 4 is 8 2 4 is 8 1 will move over here this will become 16 so 2 8 is 16 and this will be 2 1 is 2 2 1 is 2 2 2 is 4 again I will divide by 2 so 2 1 is 2 2 66 is 12 2 1 is 2 1 will move over here 2 6 is 12 then 2 24 is and then two, two fives are ten, one move over here, two six. Are. Then again I will divide by two, two eights are, two twelves are, and two twos are four, one will move over here, two eights are sixteen. Still I can divide by two, two fours are, two six are, and two ones are, two fours are. And then again still I can divide by two, two, two threes are, and two sevens. This is your final answer. I cannot further divide with the same number. So this is the simplest form of the three ratios. Okay. Okay. Very nice. So next thing is uh, some. Sometimes we use the quantity. Sometimes we use the volume in the ratio. Slowly we will we will move towards that. So the question now the thing is that there's some description in your book. You will see that in the ratio they will say express the 
ratio of first quantity to second one express uh, ratio express the ratio uh, of the first quantity in term of the second quantity or to the second quantity to the second quantity so if i say your uh, you have 25 centimeter of something comma the second quantity is 1.25 meter now we will deal some uh, some units also so you have to define the ratio of these two things some few things you measure in centimeter and few things you made the larger one you measure into the meters this depend upon the things that what, what is under consideration so first of all what i will write both should be the same unit so the one unit is the bigger one i will convert into this one so 25 i will remain same 25 i will take same but 1.25 meter will be equal to how many meters how many centimeters in one meter how many centimeters 0.125 and don't divide multiply multiply yeah multiply because it's meter if this is meter you want to convert into ah, you will multiply so when you will multiply it will be what 12 12.5 no multiplied by multiplied by 100 100 centimeter equal to 1 meter remember okay so multiplied by okay. 100 so you will get 125 now you will you you can divide both by 25 directly because everyone knows the 25 table so 25 ones are 25 25 fives are 125 so this is five times so this is a five times length of this one got it yeah so slowly we will check the other lengths also sometime you will use letter centimeter cube volume also sometime use the time also minutes seconds like that so we will deal that one now so next unit is uh, your next unit is kilometer and meter so you know how many kilometers in one meter how many meters in one kilometer 1000 very good. So, can you do this question? Okay. Very good. smaller unit first convert into smallest unit the smallest unit is meter the kilometer is bigger one so bigger to smallest multiply equal Oh, 1500 very good so first you did what 25 250 is to 75 you did like this multiplied by 1000 multiplied by 1000 to become yes it become meter so now 250 is to 75 now if you divide with the same number you can divide by 25 so 10 is to so this will be 10 is to 3 is this answer yes okay very nice so this is your answer okay next one is another question i give you classwork another question of your classwork is um, 5 kg and 40 gram you know in how many uh, grams in one one uh, one kg 
1000 yes 1000 so these are the two quantities first quantity is this second quantity is this so you have to write in the ratio so in uh, this which one is the smallest unit kg or g gram or kg g yeah g is the smallest so convert into g this one also this one also into grams this is already in grams then you will write in the ratio first decide on the left side quantity how many grams total Five hundred. Okay. Five hundred and forty. Not five hundred. Five thousand forty. This is five thousand, and this is forty more. So what you will write? Okay, let me help you. Five thousand forty. You can write like this. You got my point. You will total five thousand plus forty. Five thousand grams are these, and forty grams are these, and this is six three sixty. Now I start division. So first of all, divide by 10, both sides. So what you will get? The easy way is first you divide by 10. 504 raised to 36. Now further, 4. You can choose 4. Yes. 4, 6, za. no. 4, 1, za 4. And 1 will go, 4, 2, four, yeah, 4, 1, za 4. 1 will go over here, 4, 2, za 8. 2, 4, 6, za 24. 1, 26. And this one you will divide by 4, 9, za. Then you can divide by nine table. Nine ones are nine. So nine ones are nine, and three will go over here. Nine fours are thirty-six. So fourteen ratio one. A little table of understanding is important, also, in order to do question quickly. Okay. Next uh, ratio, I will tell you that ratio of time. I think you have understanding of time also, right? Right. Okay, so time in the time in one hour, how many minutes? 60. 60. If I say 1.5 hours, so this will, can you convert into minutes? 1.5 hours? Yes. How many, how many minutes? 1.5 hours? One point five hours is to forty minutes. Which ratio which unit is the smallest in these two? Minutes. Minutes. So how many minutes are these? Convert this one also minutes. One point five hours is equal to how many minutes? One hour equal to how many minutes? 60? I am working in it. No, just orally tell me. One hour equal to how many minutes? 60. 60. And half an hour, how many minutes? 30. 30. So 60 plus 30? 9. 90. 90. So 90. Write 90 directly. And this is 40. What I should do now? Divide by 10. Yes. So answer is 9 is to 4. Got it? That's it. Very nice. Now your turn. You will do now if I say 1.2 hours is to 30 seconds. Let's see how you will do.
The ratio is 72 30. 72 ratio? Yes. Ratio 30. Answer is 72 ratio? 30. 8. 8. Still, you can divide. 9 ratio 1. 9. Okay. 8. Okay. Yeah. 9 ratio 1. So let me check. 1.2 1. means first of all you will multiply by 60 and then multiply by 60. So you will write here 1.2 multiplied by 60 multiplied by 60 and this will be 30. You got it? Got Because 1.2 hours will be multiplied by 60 you will convert into second I mean minutes then multiplied by 60 you will convert into second and then next one is 1.2 multiplied by 60 multiplied by if I divide by 30 this is 2 and this is 1 so this is your final answer is this 1.2 multiplied by 120 is to 1 this is the answer got it so you, because you are that yeah, because you are dealing with the with the seconds, not minutes. So 12, 12 is 144. So what I will write, 14.4. Oh, 140, because 0 is also there. So 144 ratio 1. The answer is 144 ratio 1. Got it? Got it. Okay, next. Now, uh, something more. We will go. Suppose now I will take you over there again uh, on the questions which we were doing yesterday, like that. Okay, before going that onto that, uh, that question, I want one more you try hours and minutes. Because I want that it should be perfect. Uh, 3.2 hours and 72 minutes. In one hour, how many minutes? What? In one hour, how many minutes? 60. 60. So, uh, so can you can you see uh, can you see the board? Yes. Yeah, so do this question, please. Okay, yes. Very good. 3.2 hours and 72 minutes. It's hard, Mr. I yeah. tried to do it, but... Okay, first of all, tell me in three hours how many uh, minutes exist. In three hours. 180. 108? 80. 80, okay. And 0.2 hours how many minutes? Hundred twenty. Hundred twenty. Yes. So not hundred twenty. Point two minutes is sixty. Sixty two is a twelve. So one hundred and eighty plus twelve. One hundred and eighty plus twelve. One hundred ninety two. Yeah. So write one hundred and ninety two on the left side. So first write 192 on the left side and ratio 72 on the right side and then try. So your things will be 
192 ratio 72 now do The rate, the answer is 24 ratio 9. 24 ratio 9. Still you can divide. Divide by 3. Yeah, you can divide by 3. 8 ratio 3. 8 ratio 3. Yes, that's yes. The, yeah, that's the correct way you did eight ratio three. So uh, now uh, I shared the screen for you. So can you see the question of ratio? Yes. Yeah. Now in this ratio, can you tell me the ratio of orange square is to white square? Very quickly, you will tell me the answer. Five ratio eleven. Okay, I click this one. Mashallah, first question you did well. Now you will do it very quickly. Yes, the uh, ratio of the square of uh, in the diagram red, red ratio, red is to blue. B eleven ratio five. Done. Next, yes. Red, blue, red, blues to red. Important is sequence. First is blue, next is red. C. Okay. That's great. Next. D. Okay, nice. That's great. Yes. This one. Green to orange. We will use the simplest form. Yeah, after calculating, just convert into simplest form. On the notebook, you can use. D. Quite good. So four, one, the four. Oh, whoa. What's wrong? Check. Where is your mistake? Four is to 12. These are the 12. I thought, yeah. I thought it 16. Yeah, because you are taking the ratio with total. They are not asking the ratio with total. They are asking the ratio of green is to red. Right? Okay, thanks, miss. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the, okay, next one is, uh, suppose these are the glasses. This is an important thing is that you must understand the question what they are asking. Sometimes solution is not difficult, but the question is understanding the question is difficult. So this time round, if they do not say that the bigger glasses or the small glasses, you will just concentrate on the colors. So what they are asking, read the question. There are 12 children. Uh, at a party, children just takes the glass, one uh, juice glass. Some children take the small glass of juice and some children takes the large glasses. Large glass. So, what is the ratio of the small to large? So, we are on. We are not concentrating on the color. We are concentrate on small and large. So, first is small and then large. What will be that? Small to large.
C. Okay. So if you say C, how you say C one is to two? We we supply the fraction. Oh yes. Okay. First, you see that how many glasses are small? One, two, three. Okay. One, two, okay. three, four. Four small glasses. Okay. And now we will count the large glasses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, eight, one, two. Very nice. Perfect. Okay. Yes, this one. Take care in this triangle. Red to yellow. C. Okay. Oh, Allah. You choose C, but B is the correct answer. Review your answer. 15 is to 10. Which one? Red in triangle is to yellow triangle. 15 and 10. Now we will see how 15 and 10. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 and 4, 9. 9 and 3, 12. 12 and 3, 15. Okay, now now yellow. Okay. Four, three, seven, seven into nine and one ten. Easy. Like this you count. Don't count like this. It will create difficulty, right? Okay. Okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't click that one. Okay, next one. This which ice cream you like? First tell me. Which flavor you like? Chocolate. You like chocolate? Okay. Yes. So this, this question is interesting for you and I like the other one. I like the strawberry, right? So you have to make the, what is the ratio of the chocolate ice cream to strawberry? Tell me. I will show you other options also. Yes. Which answer? Simplest form. Okay, I click D for you. Let's see. Oh, well done. You learned correctly. Okay, next apples. So now you it will be a little tricky. So there are three colors, but they can ask two colors or all three colors, and they will twist. And you must be careful. So what they're asking in the question? Read the question. What is the ra the ratio of green apples to red apples? Tell me. Simplest. Which answer is correct? D. D. So let's me click D. Oh my God. What mistake you did? Now check. 3 is to 9. Huh? I said B. Oh D. my God. It's mean I did wrong. I click wrong. I'm sorry. I will support one question. 
Okay, this one is uh, what they're asking, orange to green. How many of them and how many greens? How many are total? 16? Total are 16, right? And oranges are three. And right. two. Yeah, oranges are six. If I uh, subtract from 16, six is to 10, right? Like that you can do? Right. So six is to 10 means three is to five. Like that you can do. It's easy way. Huh? Okay, so miss. Like that, you will count only one and then you will subtract. Yes, last in the you know, one thing is common in the last class. I was thinking that you are girl, and in this class, you are thinking that I'm miss, I'm sir, and you are boy. Miss. Okay, okay, sorry. So then, see, this question is complete now. Quiz result, we say, we see the quiz result, and I did one mistake. Uh, because I click wrong. Now uh, we just uh, go in the back direction. Let's see what was that. So, okay. So now next thing is uh, another I will tell you about it. So that will be, yeah, this one you have done. And if I go back and there, uh, ratio uh, of the different form I will give you now. Yeah, this one now you will do the ratio in the fractional form. So I share the screen again and now see the ratio will be in the fractional form. So this is a fraction. Can you see this animal and uh, ratio of expression? What is the ratio of the yes. girl to boy and how many girls in this? There are seven pups, three are boys and four are girls, right? Right. So which fraction is correct? Seven pups, three are boys and four are girls. And you have to define the ratio girls is to boy. So which answer is correct? Ratio mean uh, fraction is same. Three yeah, out of four? see the question this is the thing you must see the question how many boys three, three. and how many girls four four and our question is what girls to boy first what girls to boy. yeah so what what should come first girls should come first four. yeah so which answer four out of seven yeah four out of yeah, girls to boy, not girls to total, right? Right. So four, four out of? Four out of three. Yes. So I think this one, this one should be correct, right? Right. Okay. Okay, next one. Now this is twisted. Check it, what they are asking. Yes. Uh, apples to bananas. Hmm. How much? I didn't understand. Anything. Okay, see. Uh, yeah. Apples to banana means how many apples and how many bananas. So can you count the apples? Okay. How many, yeah, how many apples? Ten. Ten. And how many bananas? Eight. Eight. So ten ratio eight, what is the simplest form? What? 10 ratio 8 10, 10 ratio 8 so if the 10 ratio 8 if you define in the simplest form what will be there you can divide both 10 and 8 you can divide both by 2 right so what will be the simplest five. form? 5 2 5 4 so which answer is correct 
B. This one? Uh, yes. So see, apple is first and banana is second. Apple are more. So the answer should be this one. Do you agree? Yes. This one, C, okay? Okay, okay Miss. Now the things, things are same like that. So now this time around the question is will be a little twist. So small glass is to large glass. We already did this question. We go on to the next one. Yes, this one. In this question, they will ask you fraction. What fractions? Yellow balls is to blue balls. So how many blue balls in this? One out of five. Oh, no, Khalas done. Easy. Yes, this one. Banana to ice cream that are banana. That are banana. Not banana and banana. What does it mean? It means that they don't ask for strawberry and chocolate. Yeah, yeah. So what is the answer? Tell me. Not banana to banana. It's a basic concept of probability. They will take you in the probability if you understand this. Yes, not banana to banana. Not banana means all, except banana, all the colors you will count, right? Right. So how many, except banana, all the colors, how many? Many other flavors? Three, three, six, and four. 10. So 10 is 2. Banana are how many? 5. 10 is to 5 means 2 is to 1. 1, one 2. Yeah, 2 is to 1. Because not banana is 2 and banana is 1. Right? 2 is to 1 on every one. Right. Yeah, like that you have to decide sometime. So this one is ratio of large glass to all glass. Yeah, this is a twisted. They, they, they twist the question. Ratio of large glass to all glass. What does it mean? They twist a bit. How many lar uh, large glasses over here? Count large. Twelve. Twelve. Large. Yes. Okay. No. Um, Total are twelve, huh? Yeah, okay. And what about a large? Nine? No. Yes. Eight. Eight. Eight, eight. Huh? eight are large and total are twelve. So eight ratio twelve. Eight yes. over twelve. So eight over twelve means four two the eight, four three the twelve, right? So what will be the answer? Right. Which answer is correct? You can write also on your notebook. Okay. okay. If you want to write, you can write. Take out fractions. Two out of three. Very good. That's wonderful now. Yes, this one. Ratio of boys to all puppy. Three out of seven. Eight. Very nice. Yes. Baby to all. Baby elephant to all elephant. Two to three. Two to three. C. Okay. Yes. C is correct. Fantastic. Yes, next is adult to 
baby. Adult to baby. Answer. Okay. One to two. Very nice. You simplified. Very good. So the next is the last question. You will tell me the lollipop. The question is also a lollipop. What is the ratio of the orange lollipop to blue lollipop? Tell me. Orange is this one. This 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 yellowish. This is called orange. Orange to blue. Three out of four. Three out of four. Shall I click this? Wonderful. Great. So your next one is this one. It's already done. Huh? You have done? This all you have done. Yeah, you have done all. So that has been wonderful lesson. This was the basic I told you. I taught you the basic uh, of ratio. Now, next uh, in the next class, what I will give you, I will give you the lesson some uh, word problems of the ratio and division of the ratio, and that uh, they ask in the Cambridge. That will be more important. But uh, this was this was uh, important for you because uh, basic concepts are uh, must be there when you are going to learn uh, some word problems, right? So today's anything if you did not understand, tell me. You understand taking the LCM today and you understood the, how to convert into the quantities, first yes, quantity uh, into second quantity. And you understand that the ratio of three things and you can simplify the fractions also in the form of ratio, right? All these three yes. things we learn and some quiz we learn. So this was a basic next lesson. I will take you into some advance of rate ratio. Fine. Fine. Okay, thank you very much. Take care. Thanks, Mr. Thank you. Bye-bye.